This is the optional attack girl holiday Optimus Prime. Wait, no, she won't leave me alone. This is the Holiday Optimus Prime. When I initially saw this figure, I thought it was gaudier than a pimp from Vegas inside a casino, but now owning it, it is a really nice figure. So I guess now I'm in that casino as well. It's got a very nice compact sleek box to it. It's got the letters V and R, which stand for very much, please do subscribe. Here is the side, the other side, the top, and it's even got a nice to and from. That's kind of cute, just like you. And here is the back. Now let's open it up. Wait, that's not right. I actually unboxed the figure on my stream. I'll be streaming more, so make sure to watch those. That is a threat, by the way. Here is the figure, and I honestly really like it. This head sculpt is probably one of the best head sculpts I've seen of Optimus. The mold on this figure is completely new. It's very clean and sleek, and it still has that blocky G1 look to it. He's in a nice glossy red with green tinted windows. Here is the instruction booklet for the figure. As always, it is a fold out, and the figure comes in vehicle mode, but we're starting off the review in robot mode. He comes with a very festive looking trailer, the Candy Cane Ion Blaster, and the Matrix of the Holiday Spirit. Those are the official names by the way, I'm not making that up. The head also has some green light piping, you have a bit of panel lining on the arms, and the yellow shapes just like on the G1 design. The yellow crotch though is very, um, uh, distracting. Now a closer look at the legs, this is my least favorite part of the figure, because the back of the leg is just the front of the truck split in half. I really wish they had it fold in more. Here's a look at the top side of the back half of him, not a bad look. The back of the legs here are hollow, and that might be because this mold could be used for something else in the future. I really do like the top part of this figure very much. Now onto articulation. The head can move up and down, and it can spin all the way around. Arms can move out and spin around as well. The biceps can rotate. The arms can bend 90 degrees, and the hands can rotate. The waist can spin all the way around. The legs can move far out to the side, and the legs can move up, along with being able to spin all the way around and being able to bend. Now let's compare him to some other Optimuses. Here it is next to my original Generation 2 Optimus Prime. Here it is next to Siege Optimus. And here's a closer look at those head sculpts. Here's a look at the sides. Here it is next to Galaxy Upgrade Optimus, Alternators Optimus, and here it is next to a Holiday Sugar Cookie, which I will be eating. Here it is next to Tiny Optimus, and once again, a token of my degeneracy. Now to take out the Holiday Matrix, just bring down the chest and open it up, and here is a closer look at the Matrix inside a green chamber. And you can take it out, and here is a closer look at that, and here is the back. I really do like that that's included in here. Now back onto his Candy Cane Ion Blaster here. Here's a compares into it of the Siege Ion Blaster, and in my opinion, this one looks much better. The mold on this is really great, and it has some good detail on it. Hopefully we get this in black in a future Optimus figure. In fact, I'd love to see this entire mold used in a future Optimus figure, just like how I like it when you hit that like button and subscribe. Now here once again is the trailer. It looks pretty much the same on both sides, but the trailer's got some nice details on there. You have that little symbol there. Over here you have the Autobot logo with a Christmas hat. I genuinely really like that. I think it's kind of cute like you check out my patreon in the back here you got some extra detail the wheels here can't fold in so don't try to do that otherwise you will break your figure and this right here is able to come off this here can come out so it can stand on its own trailer back here can open up revealing some more detail now this is the same trailer as earthrise optimus it's really basic looking on the inside it would have been nice to see more colors in here because having just two different shades of white makes it seem like cheap unpainted plastic especially this right here this thing oh fuck what's it called uh uh, it is called the auto launcher. So here's a closer look at that. It can fold in and out. It can move up and down. There's ball joints right here. Also, this figure doesn't come with roller, which isn't really the biggest deal though, because then the price of the figure would go up. You do have some nice details on both sides of the trailer, and you can also put Optimus in here like so. I can compare this to my G2 Optimus trailer. Here it is next to the G2 trailer I have. The general aesthetic of both of these is pretty much the same. Now let's move on to the transformation. You want to open up the forearms and the best way to open this is by pushing down on the hand and by pushing up the side of his arm then put in the hand close that same on this side turn his head around 180 degrees bring this up to the top now bring it down out and up Back on the front side, bring this down. These right here, open up, bring this down, and these flaps right here go up. Open these right here, then you can bring this out. Same on this side. These come out right here. Fold in the back part of his feet. Fold both those in. Now make sure these are out and all the way sticking out to the side, and then bring it up on both sides. Now bring the legs down and flip this in. Now once you've done both sides, flip it over, and then bring these down and around. Now you can snap the front together, 
Now bring this down and put his crotch piece away. Now bring that back end up, make sure it's straightened out. Now you can bring this up, making the back piece of the truck. Now bring the arms up and over like this. Same with this one. So that way you can bring it in like this and make sure the side with the shapes is up. So you can bring that in and then do the same with the other side. Except make sure that's flipped around. You wouldn't want to look like an idiot on camera. Now bring these front parts in forming the grill. It might be easier to snap them in if you have the front separated. And now you can bring this down to the side and in like that. Same here and in like that. And lastly, just move the smokestack in right there. And here is the vehicle mode. And it is a really good looking vehicle mode. My biggest problem with the vehicle mode is the alignment of the words, but I'm just nitpicking there. The robot mode compacts into the truck mode very well. And the underneath is very clean. And from all other angles, you couldn't really tell it was a transformer. The back, you have some truck details right here. And the trailer bed also has a good amount of detail on it. You got the Volvo logo at the front because it is an officially licensed Volvo. Volvo VNR and paired with its trailer it looks really great. There's some detail at the top of the truck as well. I really thought that this figure was just going to be some kind of cheap cash grab but it turned out to be a very solid figure and from holding it in my hands. Holy shit I'm gonna come. Now make sure to check out this review right over here for more of my videos and comment below what you think I should review next.